Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the OBSpot Me. This is an interesting accessory for phones that allows you to record video and you will always be in the footage. So it's a AI-powered selfie phone mount. Via a motor in the base, it's able to track and follow you around. So if you're doing video calls, for example, and you're walking around the room, you don't need to actually move the camera, it will just follow you. And this isn't the first time we've checked out a product from these folks. A few months ago, we took a look at the OpSpot Tiny, which was a webcam that had the same functionality of following you around. So this company specializes in AI motion tracking cameras, and they're just fitting this technology now into a tripod holder. And one of the more interesting claims about this product, though, is it doesn't require a customized third-party app or even Bluetooth to work. Just continue using the camera app existing on your smartphone. You can put out your hand like this, and it will automatically lock into that hand's position, and then you can move your hand around, and it will begin to follow that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a person's face, and uh, otherwise it relies on a built-in camera that detects uh, the movement. However, the camera, again, that's detecting movement is not used to record video itself. Since, again, that part is just the sensing component that does the auto tracking, and then what you're actually using to record the video, again, is your phone's camera. So this is going live on crowdfunding, and you can find it starting at 79 bucks or around 80 dollars which is a reasonable price i'd say the holder can also be attached into a larger tripod if you want to have it to stand at a higher elevation all right so here's the packaging that it comes with it has a hard shell carrying case which is nice and protective and on the inside we have the opspot me along with the mini tripod again you can attach it to a larger standard one if you want a taller height and then just the standard usb type c charging cable removing the OpSpot Me itself, let's take a closer look at it. So right now it's actually folded down for the compact uh, form factor, but you can also, of course, easily release it just by twisting this downwards and then it just locks into place. When detached from tripods, it's similar to a mini selfie stick. The entire body here is constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic, doesn't really attract too much fingerprints or smudges, and the dimension here is similar to the previous Ospot Tiny that we saw, the webcam version of their product, and you can see that next to it. Uh, this is a quick contrast. Uh, we have the aforementioned wide-angle lens that's just used for detecting where you are, so it can automatically recognize that and pan and follow you, but again, it doesn't actually save or record the video, so the resolution here doesn't really matter. It's basically just a sensor component. Still, I think that in the future, maybe via a software update or in a next generation, they can consider allowing you to save the video footage from this lens. Uh, that would be neat to offer as a alternative, even though you don't need to have a third-party app. Having that as an option or saving it to an SD card could still be neat. And then we have just a power key on the front, and then there is a LED ring that will glow to tell you the status of the camera when you turn it on. And blue means that it's currently thinking and just turning everything on. Uh, so all of the processing in terms of tracking, the movement, the AI detection is done locally on this little guy. So it has a small CPU, it has the software baked in, and green means that it's currently in the locked phase, so even if we turn it around, it doesn't try to actually move the footage. So this might be good if you are, say, moving around. It's almost like a small gimbal of sorts because your footage will always be pointing in one direction, even if you give it a light shake. But I can tap on it again to go into the follow mode, and now you can uh, spin it around, and it's kind of found me, so it's always going to be pointing at me, as you can see there. Or if I move to the left uh, versus move here to the right, you can see the camera is trying to pan and follow me. Uh, around the room. On the back here, we do have the Type-C port for charging, and it can also operate while being plugged in. Then on the base, we have some soft-touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around even if you put it onto a surface or pop it onto a tripod. And you can also pop in a device up to 7 inches, any modern-day phone, whether Android or iOS. Again, doesn't matter. will fit in here just fine. Has some soft-touch accents that prevent the phone from getting scratched. And you can also rotate this hinge 360 degrees, meaning that you can hold your phone like this, or you can also spin it to the other direction, or even pop the arm sideways, uh, just depending on your preferences. There's a, another example of the auto tracking and uh, action. You can see it just follow you around, and the motor is very quiet, almost silent in terms of sound, and pretty smooth, just like their other products that we've seen in the past. Uh, but the video that you're seeing being recorded here, again, is captured via whatever phone's camera that you have. What that means is the quality of the footage that you actually save is dependent on the phone that you have. You're able 
to uh, still open up the camera on your phone via any app that you would normally use, whether it's uh, YouTube Live, live streaming, TikTok. One thing to keep in mind though is the tracking here is really a 360 degree axis. So it's kind of like a simplified version of a gimbal. Uh, you won't have the ability to actually pan up and down for the footage. That's one thing to keep in mind uh, when you pop your phone in there, it will spin, but it can't move higher if you uh, suddenly jump up, for example, unless you're further away. So here we have the phone locked into place, and right now we are in the mode where it doesn't follow us around. So even if I kind of move it slightly, it's still trying to point it at one even direction, and it's also holding the weight without really wobbling or anything like that. It's being stabilized quite well. And I can alternatively switch into the follow mode just by tapping on it once again, and now it will freely move around as aforementioned so you get a better idea of uh, the fact that it can just rotate and find you and you can see the motor there is almost completely silent. So like this you can record content that might be more suited for TikTok or YouTube shorts and it will still again have the same capability. The weight of the phone is still handled very well so I can again move around, come over here and it will continue to kind of follow regardless of if I am kind of standing it vertical or horizontal will still be kept really without any problems and the tracking is surprisingly sensitive. Um, it will be able to follow you in most cases that I tried it with. It doesn't even necessarily have to track again your face or your head. Uh, I found that if I sometimes stood out of the frame of the camera, if I was a little bit closer, it would still track my movements. Uh, there's a lot of different objects that are interfering with the camera. It might struggle a little bit more and also if there's uh, let's say a lot of people walking in between you, then sometimes they might get a little confused. But in most cases, it will work really without any problems, especially if coupled with OIS or EIS that you will have on most modern day phones, keeping things pretty steady. Now, I also want to mention that uh, since it is kind of a tracking via this wide angle sensor on the front, it works best when there's moderate lighting. It doesn't have to be completely bright. You can be indoors working just fine if there's shadows, but it can't be completely dark. Just have those things in the back of your mind. Now, as far as the, again, positioning of the phone on the top here, it is going to give you quite a few different adjustment angles, including folding it back and also upwards. So it has a pretty flexible pivot hinge. So it's an interesting option as a alternative to something like a gimbal uh, that sometimes has some tracking capabilities, but those gimbals often require you to use a third-party app. Uh, they will require to download something and you can only record video using its dedicated app if you want to track things. But once you leave or open up something like YouTube's video live recorder or TikTok live, you no longer have access to those tracking capabilities. So that's the biggest thing that this Osbot Me is trying to solve, which I think is a, a pretty neat idea. And overall, it does work quite well as far as the tracking is concerned. It's pretty accurate in terms of just following you around. When it detects a hand, you can see it will just automatically start to track versus lock. And that's a pretty neat function. If you're looking for that to just always uh, record content of yourself, then this can be a very handy companion tool at a decent price, I'd say. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.